Unreal Genetic Demon, and this is What's on the Tape, Season 8, Episode 10, and as promised, we're doing hit packs, so it's actually we know exactly what's on the tape, instead of something being completely random for a change, we actually know what's on the tape. So, this is a tape that I got back in the day, um, it includes Scooby-Doo, it's Elites basically, I think they were all Elite games, weren't they? No, they weren't actually, looking at there's quite a few that are Elite. Two, two there, or at least are elite. Anyway, um, hit back, released back in the day. This actually has seven games on it. One was a freebie, and this is the only time that Duet was released in any format anywhere. So, so I'm looking forward to playing that again because I remember really enjoying Duet. Um, but we have Scooby Doo, um, which I do remember. I probably of, the, of the, all the games on it, it's probably the weakest, if that makes sense. It's not, it's not awful, but it's probably the weakest. Fighting Warrior, which is a fantastic scroll along beat 'em up with a sort of fighting tactics, kind of makes me think of Barbarian, but not when Barbarian was the one on one beat 'em up rather than necessarily the the the, the, the later Barbarian two. Nineteen forty two, an arcade conversion um, uh, of the same name. I like this one. I thought I enjoyed this on the spectrum. The Sacred Armor of Antrid. Now I always loved the idea of this game, but I was really rubbish at it. Once I got the armor, that was it. It was kind of that was me for a bit, shooting stuff and killing stuff. But you basically try to power up this armor and to, to, to I guess to retake your tribe. I can't remember the exact ins and outs of it. Jet Set Willy 2 was the expense, expanded version of Jet Set Willy. This time round, he seems to be on the moon, if you notice. Um, split personalities. I always thought this was a spitting image, but it's not. It's actually split personalities. Split personalities, I think, has actually got a modern day remake, actually, with modern day people. Um, it's a free thing. I can't remember where it is. I'll have to dig for that. I'll put it in the description below. Um, split personalities, a really, really excellent puzzle game. I hadn't played it before I'd seen it on here, and it's really, really, really good. And of course, Duet, which is this um, gauntlet style um, shoot em up, which never, as I say, never appeared anywhere bar there. But it says it's an arcade game. There's a picture of a little arcade arcade thing there. I don't remember a duet in the arcade. And I'll flip this over. There wasn't very much in the way of graphics on the back of this. You're just an assumption that you knew what these games were beforehand. Um, then it's got the most, they got the largest, and I'm just moving where I'm sitting. So I see it. Oh, just broken something. Dropped a, dropped a bottle. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's been dropped a few times. We're okay. Right, so let's open this thing up. Um, we've got our tape. Oh, and it's even rewound on the right side, so that's a good start. So we'll get that on a tape drive shortly. And 1987, that is. 1987, look, hit pack. There's nothing on the other side, by the way. So, um, yeah, we've got a hit pack. Um, Scooby Doo first, followed by 842, Duet, Jet Set Willy. It's funny that they're kind of that order and don't look that order in there. Anyway, so Sacred Ed Armour of Antrid, um, um, Fighting Warriors and Split Personalities. This is one of my favourite, favourite tapes back in the day. Really, really loved this tape. Right, okay, so there's our tape. Let's put that just to one side out there. And then you get this stupid, stupid, I never understood this, manual, which is like four billion miles long. Look at it. It's huge, huge, huge thing. And it's basically got, if you look at it, it's got... Oh, I've got to bend it over a little bit here so you can see it. Um, but we've got uh, we've got all the bits and pieces here. It, it was Elite Systems who did this, though, the hit packs. Um, responsible for a few things, but I, I understand they weren't the... They weren't the nicest bunch of people, to be honest with you. Um, so, so yeah, hit pack. Scooby Doo comes with instructions for every blooming language under the sun. The thing's massive, to be honest with you. The manual is absolutely huge. Uh, it's the mystery in the mystery castle. I can see, but I can't blooming see it because it's too can't fit it. Yeah, uh, 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 like that. Anyway, um, we will be referring to this if I can be bothered to go 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 away. Go. If I can be bothered to get it out of the thing. So, without further ado, this is going in a tape drive. Okay, so the tape's in the drive, so we'll go with the old favourite. So we'll get our basic and we'll do load do it, or load speech mark, speech mark, and we'll press the play button. So we know what's gonna be on this because it's in order. So so we know that we're gonna have Scooby Doo and I can't read the writing. Do you know it's so small? I actually have a magnifying glass. It's a magnifying glass job here. Um I actually have a magnifying glass over my desk, but it's not on. I should really turn that on actually. Um it's Scooby Doo in the Mystery Castle. Apparently I can redefine my keys, but that's about all I can read from it. Getting a bit old now, that's what the problem is. Getting a tad old, sometimes the old eyes don't work as well as they used to. Scooby-Doo! Come on, Scooby! Right, um, followed by... 1942, the arcade game, which is really good. This, I think, was the weakest 
it's anything. This is the weakest link in the game. Some of the weaker, one of the weaker games. However, I do remember because 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 it was a. I don't know if anybody else was like this with compilations, but because it was a compilation. I used to play the death to death. Everything on it, it was just seemed it just seemed wrong not to have it. And I love it when they do that with the the, 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 the bars on the side of the screen and just change them into sort of random colours. I love that. It's a brilliant thing. Anyway, um, I used to play them to death. So even Scooby Doo, I used to play to death. I, I would every one of these games would would kind of just get played. It was one of those things. Um, and Duet, which obviously features on this, is a is a fantastic game, which should, which 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 really stickly should have had its own release. But as I say, it was kind of a, a gaunt clone but with soldiers um, I was really into it I remember enjoying it because it's a two player game you can play with friends but I'm not remembering seeing it in the arcade I must look that up to see whether or not actually it does feature in the arcade so so, so we'll, we'll, we'll see at some point Scooby Doo old Hanna-Barbera I sounded like what's he called Arkwright for a minute there from Open All Hours didn't I Apples, yeah, or whatever else he used to say. Do you remember that one? He was a stutter. Um, and, and, his, and his second... Oh, was it Ronnie Barker, wasn't it? Was it Ronnie Barker? Yeah, Corbett was the small one, wasn't it? Ronnie Barker was the was, was um, Arkwright. He had a corner store. There was a lady across the road who was the the, the, the midwife or something similar, wasn't she? Or district nurse, who, who quite fancied. Um, and then there was his his nephew, who was played by David Jason. Do you remember it? It's going to go back some if you remember those kind of things. But yeah, that was, my my missus found it in a charity shop, the, the whole TV series. So she bought it for like 50p and she was delighted because she was quite enjoyed that. Quite enjoyed rewatching it. It was kind of it was gentler times. I'm sure that by now there would have been there would have been lots of um, casual sexism and all the other things that that I suppose uh, that 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 are, that are bad nowadays. But 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 the time it was it was it was to be fair it was fairly sweet for the most part. I mean it was always about you know his latest scheme, wasn't it, Ronnie? You know Mr. Arkwright's latest scheme to to make money and save cash and all this kind of stuff. And and it wasn't like he was particularly poor, but he was always he was always sort of you know yeah looking for those extra few quid from his corner store yeah it was good I remember quite enjoying that as a kid was that the only time they worked together Corbett and um, Jason Corbett not Corbett Rob Barker and Jason Corbett's the little one with the glasses I bet they worked together actually at some point never mind right so Scooby Doo in the mystery castle Scooby Doo um, Scooby Doo Doo um, I don't know what I, I, I didn't mind the cartoon as a kid. It was a funny one, wasn't it? It was a cartoon. Was they they they, they it almost it was always those pesky kids, weren't they? They were always pesky kids, and they always they were all Scooby Doo was the name of the dog, but but that was the also the name of the TV show. And they drove around in the mystery machine, which is actually written on the little green van there. It was like a hippie van or whatever else it is, and it was um it was Fred, wasn't it? Fred was Fred Fred had a a cravat. And really needed to come out, I think. Um, not that I'm suggesting that there's anything wrong with Fred coming out, but he did wear a cravat. And then there was the... Oh, what was her name? He used to wear the purple dress with, with the red hair. I'll come back to me in a minute. Sidekick for Scooby-Doo was, uh, was a gentleman, was a hippie trailer called um, um, uh, Shaggy. Velma was the rather hot. Um, I always liked Vel Velma over over over. I can't even remember her name now. Yeah, I always liked Velma more. I don't know about you, but Velma was my fave. Um, so, if I had a crush, it was probably on Velma and Scooby Doo. If you had if you had a Scooby Doo Velma crush, we're having we're having a we're having an existential uh, um, uh, red dwarf moment here, where you where you have the the, the the crush on things. Do you remember there was the was the um, Betty and Wilma question in 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 Flintstones when they were discussing the, the sexiest um, cartoon characters in in in, in the world? <laughs> Belma. <laughs> mm. I hope you've got coffee because I've got coffee. I love coffee. Coffee is the best, isn't it? I blooming love coffee. It's fantastic. Mm. A funny thing about movie, movie and TV tie-ins. Here's the funny. Here's the bizarre thing about these these tie-ins, or certainly I think is the slightly bizarre thing about these tie-ins, is that. I think we're done. 
That sounds like the next part of something else. Oh, you can't crash. Oh, blooming heck. After all that, it's crashed. Right, okay. Um, we'll stick it onto the uh, Omni afterwards, because we can't, we can't not find out what Scooby-Doo was like. I can't believe that's crashed like that. Just as just as it looks like it's gonna finish, it's it's done the the full on crash crashing thing that it's done. Can't even break from it. Nothing, nothing, nothing working. No keys. Huh. That's not a good start. We don't want we don't want that. The thing about movie tie-ins though, and television tie-ins. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of put this one on on record. They weren't all bad. Not certainly not back in the early eighties. Um, so some of the, some of the things in the early eighties and early nineties weren't all bad as movie tie-ins. Some was some were absolutely the pits. You never you, you, there's some you just never wanted to play again. But but they weren't all bad. Um, and they got the, they ended up I think because they were movie tie-ins they got this re bad reputation of being terrible when not always were they you know um those were use my words there that was that was my yoda words um but they weren't always terrible i mean take for instance uh, robocop robocop as a movie tie-in game was absolutely phenomenal it really was you can't beat robocop's one of my one of my favorite sort of uh, movie tie-in games um cobra which is completely nothing to do with the movie i always like cobra you see i always think it's a really good game so so there are a few out well more than a few that were actually quite good tie-ins but they just got the reputation and i think it's because of the fact that, that they went along with the kudos of the movie so for instance um uh dave plays retro games badly Bertel. um he played uh terminator 2 or put it in his hit squads hated most sort of hated hit squad list the other day um and although the graphically it looked very sound it was t2 was not a particularly good I don't know, Spectrum game. Certainly from this footage, it certainly didn't seem like a very particularly good Spectrum game. But it just... It, it it just depended. And because, of course, the movie was beloved, when the game was bad, it kind of stuck. And I think that's where it stuck with TV and movie, movie um, games. Um, you didn't really think about it being fantastic unless it really was fantastic. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think that makes sense. But so, so I, I think they get a bad rap just because of the fact that they were tied in with something else that was. Uh, um, I would have said more mainstream, but nowadays games are as mainstream as anything else. I mean, you just need to go to the supermarket and have a little look, and and um, the toy section is full of Fortnite toys or Reblox toys or Minecraft toys, and then the Star Wars figures are start lying on their own because nobody knows what Star Wars is anymore. Well, I should say they should know what Star Wars is, but. Uh, a certain um, company whose letters start with E and A, um, they 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 they're not doing the, they're not they're not helping the franchise sell figures anymore, which is a real shame because they should be, and we should all want to buy stormtroopers again. I love stormtroopers. Anybody else love stormtroopers? Anybody else watching the new series of Mandalorian? By the way, gotta 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 give give gotta give them a good shout out there. Mandalorian. I'm a big I'm a big I'm a Star Wars nerd. I, I my first movie I ever saw in the pictures was um, The Empire Strikes Back. I'd seen Star Wars on the TV, so the first one I saw in the in the pictures was um, Empire Strikes Back. So that was that seventy seventy seven was the first one. Was it eighty for Empire Strikes Back? You can correct me in the comments below, but that was the first movie I ever saw in the pictures. And I was hooked. And the thing about Empire Strikes Back is, it's the it's not the not the winning movie, is it? It's a lose. It's a losing movie. It's not like Star Wars because I'd seen Star Wars, and by Star Wars, I always mean New Hope because that's what Star Wars was to me as a kid. They used to put it in the paper as Star Wars. Nobody stuck a New Hope on the end of it until recently. So anyway, Star Wars or New Hope um, was all about sort of winning and the initial sort of de defining defining the 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 the, um, the force and all the other bits and pieces that went with that particular movie but I actually wasn't it wasn't it was, Empire Strikes Back was a better movie for me it was the 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 whole loss and failure of the whole thing and how it turns out is much better in my mind but anyway so but uh, I don't even know where I was going with this Star Wars figures yes and 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 sort of the the the, the um, sort of computer game 
connection. There should be something there. But Stormtroopers, yes, that was it as well. Stormtroopers. I just love Stormtroopers. I think they look really good. And in Mandalorian, the latest ep last episode that was just on, not to spoil too much, is Stormtroopers. Plumman loves Stormtroopers. They're just the excellent thing. And they mentioned something in that 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 if you're a Star Wars fan, if you've if you've persisted with, and it does require persistence, by the way, and I do recommend it. If you persisted with the cartoon Clone Wars, forget the first season. You can you can um, you can do something else more exciting instead. Surf the internet while going through that first season. Forget the first one. It gets better and stronger as it goes until you get to the final season. Um, and when you get to the final season, and I'm hoping I know what the keys are for this because I well no should do because I've got the manual. Um, get to the final season of it, you get um, a particular. Padawan of a certain Anakin Skywalker, and that, I know that's a massive spoiler because if you know who that is, um, she then appears in, um, and again I've spoiled it a little bit there by saying she appears in Rebels as well, a very important character. But Rebels and Mandalorian kind of takes place in the same space. Yeah, you've just got it. If you know exactly what I'm talking about, you have got that, um, and it sends shivers down your spine of yes. Some, somebody, somebody was was thinking about this. It's blooming awesome. Right, anyway, um, let's see if we can find the controls for this game. Unless I can press a button to change it. What's zero for keyboard? If I press zero, ah, we go. We can define them. Define my keys. Love this game. Up, down, left, right, fire. And I guess you hold the fire down for roll. So, arcade game, same name. Uh, got rolls, got shoots. Um, I like this game. I do like this. I played this on a few machines recently. I don't know. I haven't played it on the Spectrum, which is which is a real shame, because I should have done. I've got to get all the red planes, actually, is the big one. So, it's a good shoot 'em up It's a good... Sp I think it's a good specky shoot 'em up I really like it, and I remember the, exactly where they are. Do you notice that? So, power is for more power-up, for more firepower for my, sh for my plane. It's great. Bit unforgiving. It all it always has been. Uh, you see what I mean? Just a little, little unforgiving. But I actually like this. And if I can hold the fire button down, I should roll. Um, and do you know what? I know what the roll is. It's space. But of course, I've made it fire now, so I can't do a roll. So you see, I just roll, roll there. I've made a mistake there by put, making space the roll. I've spaced my fire button. Last thirty-two stages. I think this is one of the better because it's not quite monochrome. You know, it's not quite monochrome the the look of it, and I I like the fact that they didn't go monochrome and they they did put some some colours into it. it. They've they've kind of kept the speed good. And speed is nice. You know, there's nice speedy speedy um, sort of shoot 'em up on the specy. I don't think I've played for 1943 on the Spectrum. I know, I know there's, a, there's a whole range of them. There's a whole raft of them. 1945. There's a whole load by. Uh, this is this is the original developer of this was. Oh, now I'm going to test myself. It was Namco, wasn't it? This is Namco, right? So Namco and Sayo Sayo Saiko and Sayoko probably it's probably probably pronounced it Sayoko. Um, they kind of did a range of 1940 something or other. So it's 1944, 1945 by Sayoko. Um, oh, some love hearts because I because I'm lovely. That's me, lovely, but lovely with some love hearts. And I'm going to press that one again. Um, and have to go. Um, yeah, and they did a they did a version of of of, of they've done a, a 1940 something version. They're really good in the arcade. I, I was a massive fan of them when they were back in the day when we got a chance to play them in the arcade. Really liked that. Let's get this, get this, get this, get this. Pow. Perfect. I've crashed again. I'm so rubbish though at it. Uh, by the way, I'm rubbish in the arcade at it as well. So, um, plus I'm talking. I'm yakking away. The rolls allowed you to roll out of the way, by the way, of the, 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 the incoming planes and other things that were coming at you. And they're going to shoot at me at some point. No, they didn't, surprisingly. There's another plane. Get away from me. They're all um, kamikaze in their way that they fly into you. I can't believe Scooby-Doo didn't load. Scooby-Doo. Really? The weakest link in the whole thing, and it didn't blum in laws. Scooby Doo let me down. Scooby Doo wouldn't let anybody down. Well, no, actually, he was probably hiding a cupboard somewhere when he saw a scary ghost, which always turns out to be the, the like the, the janitor. And the janitor didn't want this to happen. All oh, right, okay. Thanks, Fred. I still can't remember her name. 
Thelma, uh, uh, no, Thelma, Thelma and Louise going through my head there. Thelma and Louise, that's a completely different thing. That's Gina Davis and what's she called, isn't it? What, I can't remember her name. Oh, I'm having a dad, bad day for, for, for remembering stuff. Watch, watch Deadpool this morning, actually, the original, the first one. Um, it's a good game, a good game. Good, good, good. There's actually a game as well, actually, come to think of it. Uh, it's on the 360 and play, PlayStation 3, but um, it's good, good, good. Uh, I quite like that movie. Silly. Very much like the comic books, though. They went all out with that one in that sense. Seen the second one too, but uh, I watched the first one again this morning. I like the way that the, the intro sequence they they, they call uh, um, they call uh, Ryan Reynolds the star of the show, that God's perfect idiot. I think it's quite funny. Right, okay, so we're on to the, we're off. The, we've landed. We made it through the first stage anyway. We had one stage. Awesome. I don't know why I flew into that. After all that, flew into it. That's oh, good, this one. Worth it. Worth playing. I like it. And if I was concentrating better, we'd probably see more of it. So, um, there we go. Oh. D-Moon! Love you, D-Moon. There we go. with D-Moon! Anyway. Right, let's reset the specy and go for the next one. We have... Duet? This is the one I was talking about where it was a gauntlet game. I say, never seen the arcade version of it. Apparently, it is an arcade conversion. I don't think I've ever, ever. I, I, I don't even know who it's by. I want what, arcade conversion of what? It's one of those, one of those ones that I've just never, never come across. Oh, this tape is not a good tape, by the way. Not okay. We're going to be a better tape now. All right, behave. No, oh, our tape error. Oh dear, I can feel it's going to be one of those days. To be fair, I've never tried this tape before, so so it's pretty new on me whether or not it's going to work. I bought it because I knew I I because I because I, I, I had hit back back in the day and I put it on the shelf and then never got around to playing it. I do try I, 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 as, as a as a collector and gamer. I like to think of myself as a gamer first. I do really do try to actually play everything I own. So um, I am slowly, slowly, but I think I'm, I'm I'm adding faster than I actually have a chance to to play, which is which is a bit annoying. So so so, um, but 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 I do try, and I'm I'm attempting to play as much of the the, the games as I can. I got a few um, PlayStation One, PlayStation Two th games through the other day, and I think I've got an Xbox Xbox. Uh, original Xbox game, and I did put them in, and I did try them, and I did play them for a little bit. Um, I played a few shoot 'em ups. This that, that I played a shoot 'em up that arrived this morning called um, uh, Slipheed um, or Slipe Sleep Heed. I don't know. Anyway, one of those. I think it's Slipheed, but anyway, uh, it, it arrived this morning. It, I, I've got a th at the moment. I'm having a I'm having a a fighter beat 'em up um, shoot 'em up collection at the moment that's what i'm looking for those are the kind of things i'm looking for for that for that for that playstation one saturn dreamcast playstation 2 xbox generation that's what i'm looking for so um i kind of i'm on a kind of a roll for kind of doing that at the moment um and if it if it says the word sort of konami on it it says capcom on it it says it says sega on it um, they're almost they're almost a given that I want them. I need them. I need them for my collection. So so, but I do try and play them. As I say, I do try and play them. I sat and played Street Fighter EX three plus uh, the other day. I played it and I actually finished it. I finished the, I finished it with my, my first go through um, on normal as well. I was quite surprised by that because normally I put them on easy nowadays. God, look, to be fair, I've always, I've never re I, I'm, I've always enjoyed playing the game more than that. I don't, I don't want to win all the time but I want to feel satisfied that I'm winning. If that makes sense? I mean, there's, yes, there's, I can get the challenge of things like um, Dark Souls and, and um, Bloodborne but at the same time, they're just brutal sometimes, um, and and I, I get bored with just dying over and over again, and I get frustrated. And I know what they want you to do is learn how to be better at these games, learn how to roll out the way. And I beat the first sort of character in the, and on uh, Dark Scott Souls 
two, I think it was. Um, I, I, I was so, you know, I actually posted it also on my YouTube channel. To be honest with you, I posted it on my YouTube channel, and lots of people watched it. But it was, it wasn't even, a, it wasn't even a big boss. It was just like a mini, mini boss, and it's just so blooming hard. You watch it, and you go, "Wow, really?" Um, and I've seen people play Dark Souls and know exactly what they're doing, and it's, it's great when they do, but, but. It's a lot of time to be invested in that, and I I get from Soft's uh, um, um, aggression with that kind of thing, but it's say a lot of lot of investment on 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 those kind of things, a lot of investment. Not sure the general gist of du duet, by the way. Was it? It was it was um, Fable games were very much giving. They gave to you everything, you know, just by just by say having a house in a certain area. Um, you would generate money if you came back to the game because you'd you'd, you'd rented it or whatever else. It is. So there are some ad advantages and disadvantages to the whole thing. Well, I'm pleased it's loading anyway. I had to give the tape cleaning a, a good cleaning before I started this. Actually, I, I felt it was time to clean it. It hadn't been cleaned for a while, so so uh, I normally do it quite often. Actually, I almost almost do it before every uh, what's on the tape. But uh, some, for some reason, it, I'd, I'd sort of fallen. I'd been a bit lax with my uh, my uh, my uh, um, cleaning of the thing at the moment but we've got Scooby Doo and I've got coffee so let's have some coffee mm. Mm. oh coffee's good I love coffee oh coffee is good oh there we go duet right ah to redefine the controls yes ah definitely have you hung again I'm having a terrible time with this. Okay. Ah has done it. Really doesn't like this spectrum. It really doesn't. I'm having a terrible time with it. Right, duet. At the end. We'll stick them all in. We'll do we'll do a little video with the whole lot of it. So let's just go let's go duet next after that, sorry. Right. Jet Set Willy 2. Oh, I'm so sorry for waking you sit through these loads and them not actually loading. It's just annoying. It's got a load. Not having, as I say, not having the best of times today with this. This has not been the, not been one of the better uh, um, what's on the tapes. Considering it's meant to be a, an original tape as well. It'll have been in a batch that I'll have bought ages ago. This is the thing, and that you just don't know. And the 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 thing about these things is they're not they're not they're not really built to last. I don't think they were meant to be last this long, if that makes sense. Discwise and anything that's sort of this magnetic magnetic media of sorts is is kind of a bit a bit rough for it. It just doesn't it doesn't uh, it doesn't yeah it doesn't it's not it's not necessarily. A, I'm not necessarily going to make it. Oh. Let's go there. Yes. It's alright. We'll stick the Omni on and we'll whip, we'll whip through them. It'll be absolutely fine. I'll find them and we'll put the, the, the things on and we'll do it that way. But but it's just, just to try them and see what they're like. But I just I just find it quite annoying that we've, we've, we've got a few that haven't worked here. We did better with the... Um, Soft aid tape. The soft aid tape was really good. I've had a request as well, um, and I, I, I'm gonna gonna run it past you. Um, I've been a few people are asking about uh, me doing something to do with compilations, um, and I'm really I, I'm I'm actually thinking that might be a nice idea. I think because I've, I've got quite a lot of compilations. I bought a lot of compilations because that was the thing I bought. That was the way I got a lot of games quickly, if that makes sense. So I collected my pocket money so I could buy say the computer hits or the hit pack or something similar and they were the kind of compilations um do you include in that though do you feel that this includes uh the later say your sinclairs and the crash tapes would you would you would would, would, would they also work as compilation or would you want to mix it match it or would you like me to do something with compilations and something with cover tapes separately would you like to see that and um, put your thoughts in the comments below because I, I, I do take it all on board i do listen um i especially i mean i do i know i know that i actually have a, what i would call a split audience so i have people who watch my stuff for my retro stuff and people who watch my stuff for my my driving and more modern things 
which is fine, and some of you watch all of it, but which is great. I really like those, that as well. Um, but but uh, we, we we but but I do have definitely have a what's what's what I would call split audience. Um, so I'm gonna do a new one there and we'll go back and we'll do a load again um i definitely have a split audience between the two so so and and um i get comments on my on my my other stuff as well and um i do take note of those and tend to sometimes change things based on what people have done the background noise on that's pretty horrible actually did you hear that right there just pr not not the best Something bad. There's something not happy there. We'll just get to see if we can get back to where we were. And we'll see if we can get to load this time around. Come on! We're not having the best of times with this one. I'm just wondering if it's the loading that's causing the issues, actually. And we all love the loading. It's the best part. It's like, it's like the best things come to those who wait. I'm trying to work out where I am on this tape now. I think I've gone, I think I've gone too, I think I've gone too far. I think I've gone too far back. I've just got to go backwards a bit. I think I'm sort of too far forward now. Just gonna go back. I'm not getting very lucky here either. Oh come on! Frustrating. Oh, there we go. Where we at? JS JS one. What's JS one? It's not duet. Come on. Yeah, just at Willie. God, I must have fast forwarded so far. Can't believe I did that. Here we go. So, oh, so that's an interesting thought there. Look, JS1. So, Jet Set Wall Willy 1 data? Because I know what happened with Jet Set Willy 2 was that they added basically to the original mansion. So, so when you go through certain rooms, there are additional additional rooms, if that makes sense. So, so there, was a, there, was a, there was a fair old number of additional things. Was there additional items to pick up? The, 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 general, the general story is Jet Set Willy is, uh, is, was actually uh, the guy from Manic Miner. He gets rich from the Manic Miner from doing all the various um, dungeons and whatever else he does within the Manic Miner. He gets rich. He goes on. He has. He buys a massive mansion. He goes on a huge bender. Ends up vomiting in a toilet, and his housekeeper Maria won't go let him go to bed until he's cleared up all of the the little uh, bottles that he's left all over the house up, just basically tidied the place up. So, and I think is it, there's not like 128 items or 120 items, something similar. Can't remember the exact number actually now off the top of my head. And basically, he needs to find these items, collect them all up, and then he's good to go for for you know, well, go to bed. I don't think I've ever seen anybody finish it. It's one of those things I really need to look up online. I assume she just moves out the way or isn't there. You just get to jump on your bed for a bit. But yeah, so you got you basically got to make it through the the thing. So basically, where where Jet Manic Miner was like a single uh, sort of screen at a time through twenty caverns. Jet Set Willy was a more free roaming adventure collection platforming game. Very important in the genre, and and and, and people people remember Jet Set Willy for that. I'm sure. Chucky Egg also along the way. I wonder how much. Whether any of these games ever made it to sort of the Japanese side of it, you know, the, and influenced anything there. 
I wonder if anybody ever saw it. Went, oh, Jet Set Willy's a bit of a clever game. Should we, should we, uh, should we influence some of the? It just makes you wonder, doesn't it? It makes me make, makes you wonder how much influence some of this stuff had. I am having a sh time with this today. I am having a terrible time with this blooming tape. It's a terrible tape. Right, so <laughs> Scooby Doo, Duet. And Jet Set Willy 2, we now have to do on another thing. Uh, this has just been one great big long load thing. So I'm rewinding the tape onto the other side. And we'll give it a go. We'll see what actually happens. I can't even remember what's first on this side. I don't care as long as it blooming loads. So frustrating. What are you doing? This is going to be so annoying. I was trying... I was try the thing about this is I wouldn't mind, but this week I, I've recorded a, I've recorded a few videos during the week. I've... I've, I've um, I'll have, I said it maybe in a few other videos, but 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 I seem to have um, hurt my back um, uh, by I just yeah, well I think I, I pulled it or I've hurt something I've hurt I've hurt the nerve basically so so Antrid sacred armor of Antrid um, the I, I seem to have hurt my back so 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 not been most comfortable this week but I did manage to get some of my other videos recorded a little earlier on during this week this one I'm doing the day before you see this so if you if you if you're watching it on the uh, 15th i've done it on the 14th of november 2020 um for context if anybody's actually watching this later on that's when it has been happened so so it just it, uh, yeah and 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 uh, i was just hoping to get on with it and it's been it's been one of those it's been a it's been one of those days where you haven't, haven't got much done really and i was i was hoping to do a few other things and and just 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 generally get on with the the, the things not that, that you know i want to do videos but i want to do some other videos not just this video and it just seems to be this video is kind of taking ages today that's not working either that doesn't even sound right listen this tip is absolutely stuffed Without a doubt, this tape is stuffed. It is not a happy tape. This is not a happy bunny. Right. Okay. This is not a happy bunny, this tape. I can't even... I don't even know what's next on it, to be honest with you. That's not a happy tape. That was not a happy noise it was making there. I mean, we might, you know, it, maybe it's the Tolkien-esque um, Azimuth that needs altered, but tell you what, that's not a happy, happy bunny at all. It's not making me a happy bunny either. I don't even know what's next in here, actually. What have we not done? We've got Fighting Mori and Split Personalities. Come on. I think you can hear that I'm a little irritated by it, to be honest with you. I was hoping that we'd actually have a better time with it, with with it, with it being this tape. It's one of these ones where, you know, I remember I was talking about this before, about um, putting data back onto the tapes and things like that, and sort of, you know, is it kind of cheating? But I don't suppose it is, because it's the same tape, isn't it? There we go, Fighting Warrior. Right, we'll see where the Fighting Warrior loads. We'll give that a try, if not... Um, so we're now we're now up to we're now up to a whole bunch of blooming games that we need to do. So so I'll do I'll do the whole bunch of games. We've have all the have all the games so far. We've only had nineteen forty two that's actually loaded. So we got Scooby Doo, we've got Duet, we've got Jet Set Willy Two, um, we've got um, Antrid. So that's four games so far. We've um, that we've 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 five, yeah four games that haven't worked. 1942 has worked. We've got Fighting Warrior and we've got Split Personalities to go. I wasn't as impressed by this particular game as uh, 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 other ones, but I do remember, I do like the fact that as a large, large character, there's an awful lot of effort went into creating this sort of movement along the level, um, fighting as you go. I think you're saving a, a princess, the usual kind of thing. You're kind of a, it's an Egyptian thing as well, actually. Quite like that that factor in it. Um, and you work, work your way across the level, killing people, kings as you go, busting them in the head with, with various bits of pieces. Uh, um, early splatter house, maybe, um, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a contextual thing. So, But you're, yeah, bashing things in the head as you go along the level. Good little game, to be honest. Good game. I'm just looking at the, the huge... 
A4, A, no, it's not A4, that's A, A1, I think it is, size thing. That's failed as well. This is really going so well today. Uh, it's, and that sounds terrible as well. It sounds like somebody's vomited all over the tape. Now it sounds better. Is it my tape deck today? My tape deck just had just not working very well. I think it's my tape deck. I might have to swap to another spectrum, you know. Let's reset this. I'm frustrating the hell out of me. Instead of being instead of being nice, it's being really nasty. Hmm. Not a single game is loaded here. You've had to sit through 30 minutes worth of whatever else it is. Nothing loads. What, what, I can't even remember what the last game is. Oh, Split Personalities. So there's a timer on the bottom, actually, of how long it's going to take to load. I can imagine it gets halfway and fails again. The way things have been going. We've got Sir Clive in the top corner, don't we? Is that right, Sir Clive? This is a good game at the time. Um, it basically split personalities. is um, a sliding sort of um, uh, puzzle game where you push faces together of pictures of, 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 of um, people. Yep, Sir Clive in the top corner. Um, you've got various... Um, um, what, uh, <laughs> non-celebrities sort of separate celebrities these are you know like this um charles and diana we've got ronald reagan and um, margaret thatcher we have alan sugar next to them which is, he's got a red face for some reason sir clive up in the top corner no idea who the lady is there no idea who the guy turned on the side is and no idea who the guy at the bottom is is he like the old leader of the opposition nor is that prince philip or something similar in the top corner there underneath don't know. Um, a lot of them disgraced nowadays, I think. So, uh, um, Ronald Reagan and Margaret Thatcher are both deceased. If I'm right, I'm sure Ronald's gone. I know. No, I know. I know the old lion lady's gone, so she's away. Clive's still around, thankfully. So, and um, so's Alan Sugar. I, I don't know whether I want to say thankfully or not. I suppose we should say thankfully because I wouldn't be sitting in front of this, uh, you know. Um, Sinclair plus 2A if it wasn't for, for good old um, Alan. We go from a great episode last week with so many good things on it to, to a to a to a not so blumming good game session thingy now. Um, we've had a lot. Most of this has been loading rather than actually uh, um, getting to the point where we've got we've got a game working. I'm sure this has started out as a spitting image game, but then they changed it. Well, maybe it never did. I don't know. I'm just, I'm pensive. I'm really pensive about this. I'd like something else to load. So, but so far we've only had one singular game load from this whole thing. That's been really disappointing. Even plays that X hasn't played very nicely, has it? It's not been very good. It's not been very good. Right, okay. We're pensively watching as the little lights flash there, and we hope that we actually get onto it. This is, as I say, this is one of my faves. One of where I, I definitely remember playing this one a lot, and I think this is where I played it from. I think this is where I, I got onto it, and I was quite surprised. I didn't think this would be a game I would enjoy. Um, I didn't even know what really what it was because obviously there's no pictures and no whatever else it is. Um, I hadn't read about it in the magazines. Um, I used to get. I used to be a mixed kind of you um, magazine sort of buyer. I used to buy. We, bit of crash bit of your sinclair bit of sinclair user i was kind of neither one world or the other i was never i was never you know that was my particular magazine or brand i never really kind of had that in mind it never it never it never it was never a, an issue for me if that makes sense i never kind of wanted particular or some some sort of magazine i always find crash to be the the artistic one if that make 
makes any sense to any people. It always had those beautiful front covers, weren't they? Were they Bob Wel Wakeland? I think they were, weren't they? Um, oh, no, they weren't. They were fr fr um, Oliver Frey. That's right. A lot of Oliver Frey stuff. That was right. Um, his stuff was really, really good. Um, and it just just those covers used to be the thing that used to draw me to those rather than the... Because, you know, Sinclair used and all that. They used to have cartoons and things, didn't they? And Ross Sinclair and things like that. They were all kind of that kind of thing. I have no idea why it's still loading. Anyway, right, okay, start game, five. Good luck. Oh, wow, we've got another game to work. Blummin' heck. Not had a good day. And... Have I pressed P to pause here? Or the controls? Oh, God. Have I paused it? I think I've paused it, and I don't know how... I think press P, and P isn't for pause, is it? That's, oh, God, I can't even read the writing. Hang on, you just stay there while I look my magnifying glass on. Just so blooming tiny. They make the letters so blooming tiny, I can't read the stupid things. Right, split, split personalities, right? Hang on. How to play. I don't want to know how to play it. Right, okay. Cap space, up, down, Q, A, O, P. I'm having real, I'm having real problems here. Everything seems to load badly. That didn't seem to load correctly. Um, R, T, Q, A. Well, there we go. 40, 40, 41 minutes of mostly loading. Bar, bar one game that decided to work. That is absolutely awful. I can't believe how badly this tape has gone. We're definitely going to do some split personalities. I am going to chuck them all on the Omni. I, I, I could try and do them through uh, Play ZX, but but that, uh, um, it, I think we, you'd, you'd have to sit through another load of loading because we've literally tried to load over and over and over again there. And let's just not do that. Let's let's look at the games individually. So 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 um, yeah, that was a really duff tape considering. I suppose, I suppose, I suppose it's very old, and that's life, isn't it? Right, I'm going to go get the Omni on, and I'll be back with you in a few moments, and you can see, 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 see all these games. See you in a sec. Okay, so the Omni is fired up, and we have, when I push the button here, and I've already set it all up, we have the games that we have. Now, um, I'm going to already say it, that I've tried two versions of Sacred Armor of Antrid and none of them work. So if you watch it, it does that. I've even changed the mode of my Omni to, to 48k from 128k and I've tried different things. It just doesn't want to play. Those are two different ones. So there's no going to be no Sacred Armor of Antrid, which is really a shame because that was one of the ones I was looking forward to showing you. Anyway, we do have Scooby Doo, which I think was the was the, was the first one that was on there that doesn't didn't work. So there we go, finally loaded. Ha -ha -ha. So um, uh, we've got the keys. Right, let's press Enter to start. I still can't remember that name of that girl left next to Fred and between with next to Shaggy. What was her name? It's driving me nuts actually. Okay, so here we are. So what the idea of the aim of the game is it's very arcadey. And it's actually not that bad. It's a bit tough. You have to keep punching though. That's one of the things you do have to do. Is you've got to get to the top of the level and I've just hit a ghost. I don't want to do that. Um And you gotta to get to the top of the level but while not getting killed by everything that's moving. Ah, hit him. And I kept, I've got good up there. Scooby Snaps snacks at your friend as usual. How harsh is that though? Opens the door right next to it. So you need to punch on your way. Which is completely anti-Scooby if you ask me. Because Scooby was, was, is, would probably be running rather than sort of hitting the ghosts. I suppose he had his times when he would kind of defend himself, I guess. Did he? I don't know. I'm going to say that was the case sometimes. On occasions. I think I'm completely dead. No, got one more life quick up that st stairs. Scooby Snacks, another life. I'm getting lucky more than... than, 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 than oh, quick up! I think we've got up the top of the stairs, we can get out the level, if we can get off level 1, I'll be really impressed with myself. 
No, Scooby Snacks dead. Oh no. So yeah, you basically got to escape the level. So it's a mystery castle. You're, you're, you're getting away from the the, the 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 creatures that are there. It's actually it's not. It's it's pro as I say, it's probably one of the weaker ones on the on the on this game's list of, of things. And um, Sacred Armor Antra is probably one of the better ones. And I know I've gone this way before because this is, all I'm getting is a set of Scooby Snacks, and I don't care about Scooby Snacks. I just want to finish the level. Oh damn you! It's gonna drop me the other side of it again. And I'm and in my stupidity, I nearly jumped on that one. Just all I've done here is gone and get a set of Scooby Snacks. No good reason at all. There you go. Quick. Down, down, down. That's harsh, the way they come through that door just as I step through there. I should really just go back up the ladder. There we go. Punch, 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 punch. Punch, punch, punch. Punch, punch, punch. 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 Punch, 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 punch. Punch. Oh, can't believe it. Ghost got me. Coming out the door. Up the ladder quick. Nope, too late. He walks up the ladder a bit odd, doesn't he? He walks up, well, not the ladder, the stairs. He walks up as if it's, it is a ladder, because he kind of walks with his legs up it, even though it's actually set of stairs, or it looks like a set of stairs. So Scooby-Doo, it wasn't one of the better ones on there, but it wasn't one of the worst ones. It was a not too bad, actually. It's, it's, I, I didn't mind playing it at the time. I would have probably been, I don't think I'd have got frustrated with it, because it's actually doable, but it, it's a little bit, it's a little bit cheaty with some of the things, if that makes sense. The way it did some things, it was a little bit cheaty. So we'll move on. Um, push the button there for the for the for the instant loader, the um, the, the built-in um, um, div MC, and we will go down to Duet. Now, one interesting thing about this is when I put this file on here, it called it Commando eighty seven. So they must have been doing Elite, must have been doing another Commando game, but but it wasn't an arcade game. So we'll redefine the keys. Uh, up, down, left, right, fire. Uh, hold and abort. Right, okay, S to start the game. So here we are, and you can see straight away it's Gauntlet. Um, and the the idea of the game is if you shoot those things, it gets rid of them. Um, you've got a little health bar like Gauntlet. You've got a grenade that blows things up. I shot the bomb, I shouldn't shoot the bomb. The, the, the sardines gives you more health. This guy here is really annoying. Shoot him, please. Why aren't you shooting him? Finally got him. Pills make you go super fast. Cake gives you more health. You've got your gun. Um, get off me. we get these sardines. We'll get these power pills here. You've got to shoot these to find documents. It's one of the things you're looking for is documents. More ammunition. Things to cut through the wire fences, a bit like keys, like you'd find in Gauntlet. You shoot the little the reticles that are, where their lives are coming out of it. You're dead. Um, reticles that came out of it, that they came out of, which is their their, their little their little base things. Um, some cash to pick up. Look, oh, some cash, some cash. I was firing. Let's get this grenade. Boom, got you. Get this. I'm not sure what the S super bomb thing for is for, to be honest with you. I'll get these pills to make us go faster, get some cake. I used to quite like it. A couple of players. It's not the it's not the the greatest game in the world. It's literally just a rip off of um of of Gauntlet, to be to be to be brutally honest. But it's actually alright. The S is doing something. I think it protects me for a bit or something similar. I'm not entirely sure what. So we got that. The idea is to find as many documents as you can. You get hurt going across the swamp. I can shoot this. I've got the documents. And then I can get out and then you've got the exit. And you just get points to get in the documents. That's it. It's really, it's really, it's really... There's, I don't even know if there's anything to say other than it, it plays and it works quite well. We've got that. Don't need the kick. Don't need those. No more documents. I've got the documents for this level. Let's see if we can get out of here. And I remember playing this for a very long time. A lot of levels I used to play through on this one. Swamp hurts you when you go through it. I wonder what this is for. I wonder what you need to shoot that. Oh, we can just shoot it. Cake. 
Let's see if we can find a way out now. There's the exit up there. That's fine. We should be able to get out this way. There we go. And the exit, and we're out to the next level. Pretty simple, realistically. Shouldn't eat all those pills, because you only need one, realistically, to, to be super powerful and fast. Health. Got the got got the, the things there. I say never never got released on anything other than this hit pack as far as I'm aware. I don't think it it, it did. And it just it just I quite liked it back in the day. I thought that was quite a good game. I didn't think there was any you know, we, me and my friend used to play it and we, we used to we used to enjoy playing it, and it was just good. Gauntlet with guns, basically. Gauntlet was exactly the same realistically as shooting things and whatever else it was, so plenty of life working on it uh, what am I doing now my speed things going there's the exit I don't think I've got the didn't get the oh I did get the scroll I've got the I've got the I've got the documents already that's excellent he's not very nice that one wasn't dying very well that guy no documents. Health. Health. I knew they'd be in the middle of there. You have to risk your life to get them. Here we go. Run, run, run. As an S, can it blow them all up? No, it makes them run away. Ah, oh, the S makes them surrender or something like that. Maybe it's like I'm carrying a nuclear weapon or something similar, and I don't want to. I poison myself there, poison like you used to do in there, uh, used to do in uh, um, in Gauntlet. It was one of those things, wasn't it? They used to do. All right, so Duet. Yeah, it's not a bad game actually. I quite like Duet. In fact, I was quite pleased that it was on there. I was quite surprised. I wasn't even sure. As I say, as far as I'm aware, it hasn't been released. I don't remember seeing an, a, a Commando Two in the arcade. Does anybody else? If you do, put it in the comments below. You know this. You know you know the drill. Put it in the comments below. Right. Okay. So next that was on that tape is good old Jet Set Willy Two. So this is the this is the next one. I was quite excited about this. It's gonna say music though, isn't it? It's the very first one. I was quite excited about this. Quite like this one. So there we go. There's Jet Set Willy. Starts in the bathroom because obviously we've been vomiting again. If nobody ever put that two and two together, by the way. That's the reason he started in the bathroom because because that's where he was up chucking um, what he'd been doing. There's some dead flowers, I think, in there, and the dumb waiter. So this room would not be the. F this would be a diff This is a different room. This has been added. So is this macaroni Ted room. Macaroni Ted. I always thought that must be the periscope thing. Macaroni Ted there, walk going backwards and forwards. I always thought he was like, I don't know. That may, that must have been the name of that thing. So that would be this. Is, so basically, there's two additional rooms just getting to here, let alone anywhere. This would have been the top landing, and the next room next to it. He says, should be where Maria is, waiting to, to, to let us go to bed. There you go. And she won't let you in, look. No. No. No bed. I've been to five rooms thus far. And the idea is just to collect all the bits and pieces, basically. I always used to just more prefer exploring this game than it did anything else. A nightmare room, good old nightmare room. It's like the, it was. It's, I guess Jet Set Willy Two is almost like the 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 um eighties equivalent of DLC because it was like the add-on, wasn't it? It was like the original levels were there. Um, the Banyard Tree. It's always a tough one that one. Because it was like just added levels realistically, or added rooms to to a game that was already there. And I'm sure I played this on something else recently and it didn't have... You didn't change into the little piggy when you went through there. So the kitchen to the master stairway. Let's just have a little look at this. And then the Mega... Megaron. Megatron. Megaron. I like to think it's Megaron. Just Ron. He was Mega. Oh no! Don't do that! Lives at the bottom of the screen. I haven't seen any additional levers just yet, beyond that one. Those few that are there. I'll jump to the kitchen. Ah! Idiot. Go to the kitchen. We'll go to the beach. I'm sure the moon's somewhere though now, because that's that's one of the other factors. That the fact that he's on, he's it's called the final frontier. Is is Jet Set Willy? Um. 
Oh! Yeah, this is different. Sugar? Yeah, these are definitely different places. I'm sure of it. Holt Road. Because I remember going up that, climbing up that rope, which I always thought was a very clever thing. Mega Hill. We'll go out the bed and we'll grab this, grab this pillow. There's just all these places, things out of place that she's she's mourning about. I must apologise though to 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 my regular viewers. This has not been the best of episodes. I was hoping for a little bit better with the tape, but it was just it was it was not playing, was it? It was not being a nice tape today. It was just definitely not playing. And then you know we'd already loaded once. We I didn't 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 fancy sitting making you sit through another load. And as I say, I've got bad back, and do you know what arrived just before this? Arrived as a, as a special cushion to to support my little my 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 sore tailbone, my little coccyx is all sore. It's actually quite comfortable, to be honest with you. It's more comfortable than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to be, oh, this isn't you know this is some painful uh, situation, but it wasn't. There we go. Damn. Yeah, I didn't... I want to jump on that. Can I jump straight up? Yes! There we go. Saves time, doesn't it? We've got three items now. Way In three rooms. Awesome. Let's see if we can get four items in four rooms. That'll be that'll be more impressive. Maria might let us just straight into bed for doing, you know, four items in four rooms. There's definitely some colour changes as well for the Final Frontier. They definitely altered the palettes in some of the rooms. This is good old um, this is good old Matthew Smith who created this. I always used to try and get through here. Anybody else do that? I'll try and squeeze through this one. Yeah, I used to do that. Study. No. Oh no, that spawned instant death spawn. Do you remember those? Those are horrible. Those are just a terrible, terrible thing in life. Yeah, Jet Set Willy 2. Good fun, well worth playing. Get the specy on, give it a try. It's tough. I've never actually finished it. I've, I don't know anybody who actually ever has, to be fair. So, um, I like the music. Anyway, right, let's go. What are we on to next? We are... Secret Armour of Antrit ain't gonna happen. We have... Fighting... Fighting Warrior. From Melbourne House. Fighting Warrior. Here we go. There's Fighting Warrior. Did a little funny load thing there. But we'll press 1 for keyboard. Because we're going to go with that. And we're going to do 0 to start the game. So this is our little Fighting Warrior. And the idea is you're scrolling along. Getting, getting from one side to the other. Boom. I love the way you just baseball bat each other in the face. And just smack each other in the face. See, his energy's on one side, so the little arrows. My energy's on the other side. Now, one of the other things you have to do is hit these. If you can... I always found these hard to... There we go. And that gave you more health back, hitting the, bar the, the sort of barrel things on the back. Really found it quite difficult back in the day to do that. Oh, God. Right, it's him done. Let's see if we can hit this barrel before this next thing pops up. There is a... It's like a little lizard man. Oh, sugar! Hit him! Can't do it. Can't see it behind him. It's a lizard man. It's like a... It's, it's a dragon. It's a gargoyle. Go on, poke him in the... Poke him in the bits. Duck! Let's see if we can hit this thing. There. Got it. Just. I think this is actually as far as I used to get in back in the day, actually. Swing. Swing. Hit him in the face. Smack him in the face. 
I don't like the fact that I get arrows thrown at me. It reminds me of Aztec um, Challenge on the on the on the Commodore sixty um, four. That was a that was a that was a harsh game. Do you remember that when I played it on the on the video? That was pretty harsh. Um, but no, I quite like this. I, I think it's quite a good game. It's 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 entertaining enough. It's kind of a bashing each other with. I mean, assuming the swords, but but they feels feels like they're hitting each other sticks until somebody falls over. Realistically, but I kind of like it. I like it. I've been one of my. It's it's it's. It's good for the time. Oh, come on. Hit it. There we go. Oh, I was actually pretty energied up anyway. That's it. Hit you in the legs. Smack you in the face. It's a bit slow with the movement, though. That's the only thing, I think. It's a little tad slow, but um, it's actually still a really good game. Nice animations. Nice looking game. Really enjoyable, beautiful. It comes to that those boxes. You remember the blue boxes for these? They're kind of um, a sort of a, a, a sort of a, I, I don't know sky blue um, color with. Uh, that's it, boom, 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 boom. Getting him now. Um, sky blue colors in the corners, sort of triangles in the corners with Melbourne House sort of written above them. It's really cool. I used to like those actually. I used to like Melbourne House. I'm a bit obsessed at the moment with. Um, with uh, Way of the Exploding Fist, one of my favourite beat 'em ups of all time. I'm I'm now I'm now contemplating a bizarre sort of uh, collection just to get just to get the like the the all all the versions that came out because it came out on the Amstrad and it came out the Commodore 64. It even came out on the Commodore 60 at uh, the C16. Did anybody know that? I didn't know that. So it even came out on those, and I'm kind of contemplating just buying the lot if I can find them. Just they're not even going to be expensive to do that because realistically, who else who who else but my, me might want them? But but yeah, they're kind of good. Oh wow. I hit the thing at the right time and blasted him into oblivion i didn't realize that was actually an option if i'd known that was an option earlier i would have blasted you into oblivion before he's just gonna you just stay there down on the floor sort of a noobish character i'm gonna just smack you in the face until you die there we go i want to jump to it oh that's cool myself Oh, this is going to be a, one of them man-on-man -man smacking each other, walloping each other, good old-fashioned. Oh, yes, blow for blow. Love it. Oh, I'm doing so well. I've never done this well. Fighting warrior. That's me. Oh, I've got around. I've got around. I've, I've looped. Yes. Excellent. I don't remember being this good back in the day. I'm just 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 just, just doing it now. I hate the arrows though. They they they're kind of annoying because they can really they can really slow you down. Ah, oh, damn you. I want to get this thing quickly before There we go. Oh, we got him. Timed it perfectly and killed him straight away. I'm doing so well. It's looping now. Oh, I'm going to die against this guy. But hey, it was so worth it. Look at that. We've done so well. I looped it. I've never done that before. That's flipping brilliant. That's excellent. Yeah, Fighting Warrior. I can definitely recommend that. It's it's yeah, it's it's a game of its time. I've looped it. I looped the level. Wow. I did so well on that. Yeah, I really like that. I can't even remember what I was saying before that, so let's just let's just carry on. That was great. So we're gonna finish on a um a, another one of my faves, um, which is um split personalities. So we'll just do that and we'll go to split personalities. I like the Div Dem C, by the way. I like that that it's integrated in the Omni. However, I do love the tape loading, and 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 you've you've all seen the tape loading, so 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 we don't need to see the tape loading again, and that has not worked. Um, that'll teach me not to check the, that that particular um, ROM before doing it. Right, stay there. I'm going to find one that does work because that's I'm I'm not having that. We're having we're having we're having we're having we're having split personality, and whether we like it or not. So hang on a second. 
Right, okay, welcome back. Um, as you can see, I'm loading on a Spectrum again, so so I'm hoping that this is going to blooming work. It's been one of them. It's been one of them sessions. So I'm going to give this one a go, and I'm going to try and do the Sacred Armor of Antrid as well because it's just it's frustrating me that we haven't got everything that, that that we want to load from it. How amazing is that though? We got a tape that that well, I would hoped it would work, but to be fair, my own fault. Never tested it, never tried it, never saw whether it could actually work or not. Beauty of what's on the tape, almost. Right, okay, let's let's hope this works. If I press number five... We've just loaded it from the, the tape thing here, so there's the... Yeah, that's fine. There we go. That's it, right. Oh, we've got God Bless America when we put those together. So basically, it tells you roughly where these things are to go. So in this case, that one can go there, that like there. Right, let's chuck this out here. Bomb, get rid of that. Part of his face further down. Let's chuck that down there. Shoulder, perfect. So what we're trying to do is build. It's kind of one of them sliding block games, and I almost, I always say I'm very bad at these, but actually I'm not. Sometimes I'm not. Um, this is going to be interesting. I want. I can't. If I bounce it off there, you see that thing in the wall? It zaps them. I'll put that on there. And as I say, this has been recently remade, which is kind of cool as well, that it's got a remake, because I actually think it's quite a good game. I mean, this is uh, this is President Ronald Reagan I'm playing us right now. Ooh, no bomb. Bomb, 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 out. Oof, God, that was close. Right. Good old Ronnie Reagan. There he goes. Oh, nuclear. There we go. God bless America. We blew something up, so extra points for doing that. I kind of like it. It's kind of... I could have imagined this as almost as an arcade game as well, though. You know, something that actually... Um, well, was arcade if that makes sense. Oh, it gets through the same item. Um, that's to put out bombs, by the way. And down here. We've got a timer at the bottom of the screen, so let's see how long we've got to go before we put them together. I'm pleased this has actually decided to work now, because I, I was quite... I quite in there we go. I need that one. I was quite, in I, I quite enjoy it. It's one of my one of my faves. Yeah, that one there. Pop that down there. Let's see if we can get it. All right, okay. I'll move that over there. That's the one for the door. That one over there. That's his hair. That's part of his hair again. Let's see if we can get something else. His mouth. That'll do. And that's the part side of his face. Yep, we're getting there now. Look. Ooh, we've got to be careful here. Bomb. Bomb. Get rid of bomb. If we can get that over there, we can get that over there. That's where that one's got to go. That's his face spot on. That's the top corner. So if we just do that, that, that. We need another one in there. We're getting there. Right. Shoot his hair up. Shoot this one across. Shoot that one down there. Oh, we're missing a bit yet. Off there. Let's see if we can get that. Right, this one needs to be. I'm, I'm running short of time, but we're we're still making it. Um, this is one of these. I just I hate these sorty things. But we can do it. I can do it for a change. I'm not very good at these things, but there we go. Oh yes, we've got it. Right, that's his, that's his chin. Let's chuck that one there. Let's chuck this one upwards. Let's chuck that one there. Uh, let's chuck that one there. 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 We're so close now. Side of his head. Time's still there. It's good, isn't it? There you go, first one done. I really like that game, actually, to be honest with you. But yeah, we're gonna definitely have to go to Secret Armor Antrid after this. I'm, I, as I say, this, is, this has been utterly frustrating that none of these things have loaded. You know, we had the first 40 minutes of that, then we've had the 20-odd the, the minutes of me playing with the, the first one, and then uh, it just chucks it at the bottom when you're done. It's Margaret Thatcher, I think, next. Yes, Mrs. Thatcher, there we go. Right, okay, so what do, we, what do we have? That's the centre of a, a, a thing there. Uh, Tory, yep. Beverages. 
Uh, let's see if we can get some other bits and pieces that we can... It sounds like a helicopter, this thing, doesn't it? There, Dennis and the ju ju the food. You get extra points for Dennis and drink. Because that Dennis was our husband who had a little... who loved a bit of, loved a bit of the old uh, alcohol. Or certainly, that um, we all think he did. <laughs> there was actually a game um, I played on What's On The Tape before called Dennis Through The Looking Glass. Do you remember that? Yeah, Dennis Through The Looking, looking Glass. Or oh, was it The Drinking Glass, wasn't it? Through The Drinking Glass. Yeah, go. Cool. Um, yeah, that could stay there for the moment. That's her chin. Let's see if we can bounce this off. Uh, chin. Chuck that one there. Chuck that one there. Let's throw the labour out like that. There we go. And then that's that. And that's that. Oh. Got one zapped by one of them zappy bits. There we go. Building a, building a nice face up here. Stick her face there. This is a chin, and this is a part of a collar. See, it's a good game, isn't it? It's still a lot of fun. It's one of my faves as well, and it uses lots of colours as well for the specy, which is a, which is also a benefit. And it's very quick. I've played it on a few versions actually as well. I think I've played the Amstrad CPC version previously on my channel, and that's good as well. Like that one. Spectrum for the me though is that is the version cup of tea and a hammer. No, not quite yet. We're not ready for that yet. Ah, uh, it's a hair. Let's get rid of it for the moment. Yeah, this one can go down to her shoulder. There we go. Right. I'll chuck that one up there, because that's the top one anyway. Chuck that one there. That's fine. It works. There we go. It's top of a hair. Right, we are in a situation now where I need to throw that over like that. Throw that like that. Throw that like that. Throw that like that. that. Boom. 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 So that's the top corner over there, ready to go. We just need a hair. Not that one. That one will do nicely. We're almost there. And we need the other hair, which is there. And there, and we've got it. Done another one. It's really it it's a good game. It was it was at the time I really enjoyed it. I like it as a puzzle game. It's a fantastic puzzle game. Um even with the political connotations that are attached to it, it's actually really nice. Good bonus as well. I haven't even lost a life yet. You can tell I quite liked it back in the day, can't you? The fact that I haven't even lost a life. Um right, this is the one that always gets me, this guy. I don't know who he is. Is he Neil Kinnock? Is that who he is? Is he the, the leader of the um, um, opposition party? Oh, bombs. Yeah, I think... Is this, is this Neil Kinnock? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. Lots of things that I should be throwing together. Labour Party, yes, there you go. Fuel. Fuel and Labour Party doesn't go together. Hammer. Top corner of his hair. That's no good. I want the bottom. That's it, finally. And the bo other bottom corner. Brilliant. Excellent. Get rid of that. There we go. Get rid of that. Go, go, go. Guns and diamonds don't work. Labour Party. Top of his hair. I should have kept that one, actually. That was the one I needed for the very top of his hair. But it's fine. We'll do that. I do like this game. 
I, I, I used to play it quite a lot. I quite like it because it's a good puzzle game, realistically. I think more than, than anything political about it, I just, just liked it as a nice puzzle game. That's no good. And that one goes up there. That's that one. That's that one. Doing alright with the shape of his... Would have been nice to have got the bomb hit by the, the water. I'm just hanging on to one of these for a second. I'm just hanging on to Labour Party to see if anything... There you go. A fist and power of the Labour Party. Oh, just just throwing his flipping thing in the wrong place. It's fine. It's fine. We're, we're still making it. And that's the middle of his face that we've got right there. Where's this go? Down. That's there. Oh, yeah. That actually fits funnily enough, doesn't it? It almost fits over right in his face there. down here, that one goes down, oh, there, there we go, like that, like that, that's his hair there, I need to put something, I need to move that one, up, down, round, that on there, that's the bottom of his jaw, I've not got his, I've not got the middle bit back again. You know, there's a middle bit. Yeah, it's just no good. I need to get, I need to get the middle of his. Yeah, that one. There we go. We're near, almost there. It's running short of time, but but as, as usual, done it. Was that Kinnick then? Is that Neil Kinnick? Labour, labour opposition. I can't believe I finished that. Did really well. Who have I got next? I could play this for ages, to be honest with you. It's such a brilliant game. Oh! Him, the, himself. His Lordship. Sir, Sir Clive Sinclair. That's what we've got right now. Well, we have to do Sir Clive, don't we? Because he's he's, our, he's 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 the the leader of the uh, of the pack. Oh, there we go. He's got like a little frame around him as well. Isn't that nice? That's his beard. Got his little beard. Where's that go up there? Right, okay. Let's have a look. I haven't lost a life yet. I'm doing so well on this game. Love it. A cup of tea. A cup of tea. Oh, brain. Brain power. C5 and brain power. There we go. We've got C5. Did you see that? A little C5. Excellent. Okay. Go, go. I'm not doing very well here. That one's go down there. I guess that. Uh, right. Okay. Ooh, spark and something. Oh, damn. Um, what am I trying to do? I was trying to get this one into there. Yeah, so I want to do that. Hang on. That. Um, pull that one down. That's right, I'm making my life... I think I'm making my life more complex than it should be. That's it, there we go. Yeah, there we are. Pull that one across there. Push that one up there. Oh, they zapped each other a little bit. And sort of moved on. Um, 
This is the top corner there. That one's that one there. That's there. Yeah, it's got his got his lapels here. And let's get them down there. Let's hold that one there. Let's hold that one in position. Oh. Yeah, that can stay put for the moment. Brain. Another C5 maybe. That's his there's his centre of his jack uh, centre of his thing. Oh look, there's another C5. Not this time, I'm afraid, Clive. Not this time. That's the side of him. I didn't know about the zapping them out of the way, you know. I don't know if I've ever got this far before. This is the scary part about it. Doing a bit, lot better than I've ever probably done before on this game. There you go, Clive. Part of your face done. There's a beard. I've had that before. I'm running short of time. Come on, Clive, give me the parts I need. I should know this. Come on, quick, quick. Oh, damn it, the door was open. You sod. Bounced it out the way. Boom, 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 boom. I think you've had enough of this. But anyway, great, fantastic game, that one. And now we're going to give it a try on loading um, Sacred Armor of Antrid. So we might as well. You know, we've tr we've done everything else. So let's hit the, the reset on the old Spectrum. Let's do that quickly. And let's let's go for a load. Di di I've actually changed the Spectrum as well now. I've I've, I've I've been through two Spectrums and an Omni to do. This is this has been this has been one of the most the more trying of episodes in the sense of getting things going. Um, but I but I but I but I'm, I persevere, as you know, from all my episodes and my previous. If you've been regular to this channel, you'll know that I persevere with this until we we try and load everything. Um, when I first started doing this, uh, we we didn't. Uh, we did, I didn't go quite as hard the, as a, as I do on this now. Um, yeah, that's fine. Play. There we go. The Sacred Arm of Antrid. Now, this is the first time I played it. Again, it was another one of them games. Did it get a high score in Crash or something similar? I think it did. I think it got a particularly high score in Crash. So I was kind of keen to 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 play to to play it and sort of you know and and get it on my spectrum and and give it a try. So so I was a, it was one of those games that I really wanted to have a go on, but but obviously I didn't have the uh, not the the sort of well I didn't have the cash because I mean to be fair. This would have been seven. I think this was a seven ninety nine or six ninety nine game. This uh, the the hit pack itself when it initially came out. So 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 that was a lot of money for me. I would have to save up for a, you know three or four weeks for that, maybe more um, to to get that first one when I was a kid. So 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 um, I wouldn't I wouldn't buy like a one game for seven quid. I'd usually wait for it to 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 sort of come out on a on a on a cheap re re, re release or something similar. So uh, it was rare when I did buy it. I mean um, as I've often said this before that Green Bray was one of the first that I bought which was like full price um, and Jet Set Willy I don't think I owned Jet Set Willy back in the day I think I did what everybody else did I made a <clears throat> special copy of it um, and then I had to have a whole sheet of um, pre what button presses they were really tough to do back in the day um, if you were lucky you had somebody else who wrote it all out for you and then you got a, a, a photocopy of that and then you could use the photocopy to press the keys to get in there. I think did have Manic Miner, that's for certain. I didn't buy Manic Miner, but I certainly had a Manic Miner. We were very naughty back in the day in the sense of the, those kind of things. So there's our, our armour of Antrid, the sacred armour of Antrid. And remember that it's kind of radioactive, isn't it? That's the one of the, 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 the factors in the game. There's kind of radiation everywhere, so so it's a it's, uh, Strange one. I have to admit, though, my seat is lovely. My nice new seat that I got. It turned up just as I was starting what's on the tape today. So, so um, I've been I've been waiting for it for ages, and it's turned up just as what's on the tape has died. But as I say, this has taken ages. This I've been I've been I've been between spectrums recording, finding files, and putting things together. I've been at this now for. I'm just looking. See, you've got a long video, and I've been at this for three and a half hours now so it's been a bit it's been a long one this one it's been a long one i am planning to do one next week but i think i'm going to do a small a shorter a shorter possibly one i'll see if i can find a, a decent i actually had better luck 
with um, uh, you know flooded tapes from 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 Douglas, for instance. I've had better luck with some of those than than, than the ones that, with the a one that should officially have worked. I've got uh, I've got the the WoW games or the War on Want games actually. That's a that's a charity pack one. I'm gonna maybe give you a selection at some point of the the other alter or other games to try. Or um, I did actually ask about it, didn't I? Whether it was compilations or whether you wanted to see tape compilations as well. You know, that came on magazine. So you need to let me know what you think actually. Um, but but maybe give you another selection at the end of this. I am planning to go on for a couple more episodes because um, as as I said before. We're still in. Uh, we're back. We're back to lockdown. We had a lovely time last time round, and we, we. I did lots and lots of episodes. I did fifteen episodes last lockdown, which is, which is quite a lot. Um. So so, we've we've got um. What's on the tape itself is about ninety, n- nearly ninety episodes, in total. Because I've I did that fifteen episode um um last season I think it was or the season before anyway, um and I I did I did a fifteen episode as part of that lockdown and that 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 long sort of. Uh, summer break we all sort of had enforced upon us um, um, but but uh, we did have a we did have a long break there so right well we're loading anyway got a bit of specky noises I feel bad because we need some specky noises you love a bit of specky noises I know you do I know I do it's one of the best things about what's on the tape is that that, that anticipation that it'll load and no no R tape errors hopefully so Fingers crossed. This is coming from uh, the Play ZX, of course, at this point. I, I can literally give up trying to do it off um, anything else. And I don't know where they've got the, the tape file for this. I was trying to look for a converter. And, and i tell you what else happened during all this. So, so what else happened is I looked for a program called um, Tape to... Z- uh, I'm sorry. Um, TZX to tape. And there's a, there's, a, there's a file for that. Yay! Um, there's a file for that um, that you can get. Um, and I thought, oh great, that this will work fine. It didn't work. It wasn't incompatible. Sixteen k, uh, six, sixteen bit PCs. It wanted. Um, it's just, just insane. It's just one of those, those things. Palace software, right? Up, down, move left, move right, fire. T to quit. Okay, let's go for it. I am ready. So here's our little bump. I always love the. That's how we get we can fire. By the way, is to do that, you have to pick up the rocks. If, I used to, I used to always miss the rocks. And I don't know where health is for this. There's there's definitely health somewhere, but oh, you have to press fire and left to, to, to jump. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, I'm all right for the moment, though, because I don't. But I don't know how many, how many hits I can take. As I say, I I really love the graphics on this game. I just didn't know what what. I can't pick that up yet. That's an energy thing for the for the armor. I'm going to run under the space invader guy. Run over that. So there's the armor there, and you get in the armor and it powers up. There we go. That's the armor. And then you're in the armor and it has very low power. How do I move it? This is interesting. I can get into the armor. Gravity prevents takeoff. Oh, that's right. I'm missing something. That's really annoying. I remember this now. You need to get something. Now, I don't know what I meant to get. This is the, the armor's like over there. You have two rejuvenations remaining. So I've got to collect. I've got to collect the bits to get him, to get the armor working. At least I can see my energy now that I've got the the thing, the thing, the the armor. That bug's really cool, actually. Look at his face. Oh, I think he's really cool. 
All right, I've got something. I think that's my, I think that's armor energy. I think. Not sure. I can't remember much about this game. I just remember the graphics being really nice. You have one rejuvenation left. Yeah, okay. Recharge cell. Okay, I've recharged it. Well, how do I take take off from it? I'm, I've recharged it, but I don't know what I've recharged. This is the big problem with this game. I'm dead. This is your last final rejuvenation. Okay, final rejuvenation it is. Space Invader. There's another cell for it. It's pouring with rain outside. My my missus has gone out there to for a, for a, for a, for a, for, a, for a, to relax to relax and sort of um, do some knitting and things like that. The little boy's out there with her as well, so they're both out there watching the telly uh, in the in in the, 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 the fortress of solitude. Well, certainly that's what I call it anyway, the fortress of solitude. It's a tough game, is this um, Sacred Armor of Antrid. I re I like it, though. Your race is doomed. Press a key to fire to, to, to continue. I really like it, but uh, it's one of those games that I need a little bit more... Because, uh, actually, it says, it says a plot and the graphics and whatever else. There's a little bit more to it, and I can not I can never get quite into it, but it really... Not quite get into it. I can't quite get very far on it. I know that uh, there's a number of other people who have completed it, and but me, never quite been able to do that. I've just, uh, I've just mucked around, basically, and never really got to... to beyond that if i ever get the armor going i'm always dead chuffed i was as a kid i was like oh i got the armor going and that was it you know so there's a point where you get that powered up and you can you can you can fly around shooting which is a lot more useful but i um but there's not an actual awful lot of story if you look at the, the, the i've got the inlay for obviously for this and it's just like a one line just saying to save your race kind of thing you've got to get the sacred armor up and running it's about it really Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. This has been a long one. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, sorry for 41 minutes of uh, just loading and only one game. But uh, at the end of the day, it all happened and it all worked and we all got to we all got to the end. So thanks for watching. I will be doing another episode next week. It's probably going to be a slightly shorter one. Um, depends on my mood, to be honest. Let's be honest. It's down on my mood. Please feel free to comment about the, the idea of compilations and other things. Hopefully they'll be better than this one um, in the future. Anyway, I'll speak to you soon. See you later. Bye-bye now.